Lasers sound like the stuff of science fiction, right? Sound completely unbelievable. How could our military possibly be using those in future warfare? Guess what? We've just had a recent breakthrough, more great test results that are making lasers a reality. So it's called Athena. Lockheed Martin makes it, and they've been doing a lot of the pioneering in this laser field. Now, what's really exciting about it is that it's so hard to harness that much power and make it compact enough that it's actually going to make practical sense downrange. And they've proven that they can do that. Uh, recently, uh, they tested it against five moving drones, so realistic drones that they might go up against, with, uh, you know, enemy forces might send against us, for example, uh, or terrorists might send against us. Uh, and it successfully shot down all five of the drones. This is huge news because it means that in a realistic practical setting it's looking very promising so it could be ready to field quite soon. So when you see the movies or you look at comic books or television shows, when you see the laser weapons, they tend to be a color, right? Red or green or something like that. Uh, real lasers, one of the key advantages that they provide is that they are invisible. You actually can't see them. You just see this damage suddenly starting to blow something up. Uh, so if we take a look now at what the Athena did to a truck. So we're looking at a truck engine, and the Athena within seconds was able to beam right in there, heat the whole thing up, and burn through the engine of this vehicle. So if you imagine if you were in that vehicle, all of a sudden, this hole would start appearing in your engine, and the whole thing would just disappear. Those who live in the Willow Creek Ranch Estates were allowed back today, and while no homes were destroyed, there were some buildings and vehicles that were, so it is affecting things there.